Hello everybody. Today we're going to be looking inside this 2004 Lincoln Town Car Ultimate. And I've shown you the exterior of it on the previous video. It's time to look inside. And, but before we do this, I want to point out this car is, as of the filming of this video, is for sale. Here's all the information. Here's the phone number. It's the same owner who owns this. I don't remember what year it is, <laughs> but it is a black, very low mileage town car. All right, let's look inside. So what do we have here? Have the standard keypad, bam. All right, coming inside. So it is the ultimate. It is fully loaded, including the sunroof. And I'm gonna be jumping inside. All right. So we are inside. It's an 04, so check this out. It's got the old school steering wheel with wood on top and wood on bottom. Beautiful. This is my favorite type of a steering wheel. I wish that my 06 had the same thing. Uh, all right, so here, so I am sitting in the seat. It is a little bit sunken, a little bit, not 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 a lot. Mine was a lot worse than this, and I'll, and I'll show you details. All right, a little bit of leather coming for, uh, off the strip, but everything else, I mean, it's beautiful. You have a wood trim right here. You had, do have the memory and the heated seat. Now, in the previous video, I did show you uh, there's a heating pad in in the trunk so maybe when i go on a test drive uh we'll, we'll check this out all right so what do we have here you do have the cassette and the single disc cd there is a cd changer in the trunk i showed it to you in a previous video there is this module right up here let's see if i can get the light on right there for this viper Security system and alarm. See, I wonder if it works. I think the battery is actually dead. Yeah, there's no lights that are coming on, so we probably need to replace the battery in this thing. All right. Now, let's see if I can turn off the light here. There you go. All right, cigarette lighter. Uh, it's a little used. There's a, there's some rust in here. Sitting inside this car, I, I smell a little bit of smoke, but not a whole lot. And you can see that the the, la the next oil change is due at 108,000. All right. So let's see if we can start this thing up. All right. Okay, so it's barely got any gas. And maybe we'll go on a little gas run. All right. All the lights are off. You got 105,470 miles. Let's see if I can get it in there. There you go. And I like how on these displays the, the screen doesn't flicker like it usually does. Yep, adjustable pedals work. Traction control works. All these buttons, all these buttons are not even erased. I mean, I've seen a lot of them. They're, they're just got obliterated over time. You got all these buttons in good shape. The wood is in good shape. Even the steering wheel is in great shape. Look. There's no, like, bald spots or anything, or, like, the stitching doesn't come off. All right, the clock, the clock works. All right. All right, climate control. Let's see, does the cigarette lighter work? Let's see, what do we got here? All right, all the paperwork. Yep, that's what he was saying. All the paperwork is here. And then he's got additional pocket right here. I think this is for the tires. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, in in December of twenty, he's got he's got tires. Looks like it. Oh, and it looks like our uh, for sale sign just got blew off. All right, radio works. Buttons work. Everything works. Temperature? Yep, temperature adjustment works. I'm amazed. I'm really amazed. All right, let's see. Even got the dividers in here <laughs> with the coin. Everything. Look, the middle seat belt is all tucked in, all nice. All right, it does look like the this the driver's side. It does not work on the um, auto lock and unlock, but the rest of them do. All right change oil soon so i think this needs to be reset or i'm not gonna do that let's see sunroof yep sunroof works look at that 
I've never, I've never actually uh, seen, like I've never been, I shouldn't say, I've never been inside one of these vehicles with this type of console with a sunroof that actually works as well as this one. And because it's an 04, it's got uh, dual, you know, dual one of these uh, mirrors. Sorry, so it does look like the one button that, that is, you know, like fell inside is the one for uh, the number one slot for the home link, but then the other ones do work, and then the display works. It's not flickering in real life. Yeah, look, everything works. Beautiful here. All right, so let's, let's look inside there. And let me show you what I mean by the seat. So you see the seat, yeah, it is a little bit sunken, but that's normal, that's nothing. I'm gonna turn on the heated seat. Ah. Uh, Okay, so the heated seat does not work. That's why there's a heating pad. Okay, that makes sense. But the seat does go back and forth. It does have lumbar. I'm surprised, I'm surprised it doesn't have these little pockets. I thought that these pockets were around in 2004, but maybe that was earlier. All right, a little bit of stuff here, but not a whole lot. I have it a lot worse. So let's look in the back. It's a, it's a great car. <laughs> I am pointing out a couple small things you probably already know about, but but nothing major. Oh yeah, the back. You should see the way I listed that. Okay. All right. So what do we have back here? All right, so the back seat is almost like new. Yeah, got a lot of cushion here. All right, got these older style pockets here, which I like got the leather even on the back so this is something that they've changed um like this this whole setup yep it is blowing i think i can probably turn it off there you go oh yeah the back seat is awesome so yep ashtrays yeah these are almost like new oh yeah see here I think our uh, the for sale sign blew off <laughs> so let's see here yeah like these these back seats are, are are new like seriously I don't think anybody ever ever sat in them at least they feel like they are oh yeah yep look at this I don't see any any child seat um child seat markings or nothing yep all the all the little lights work yep this access for the sunroof panel works as far as you know being here of course <laughs> doesn't have to work all right i wonder what about this all right so the passenger heated seat does work I can see the little white. Okay. Yeah, tiny bit of rust on the rails. Oh yeah. But then the passenger seat, uh, looks like the detailers missed the spot, but they probably didn't know if it's a younger person, they probably didn't even know that this thing lifts up. Yep. Yeah, the passenger seat looks like it was barely ever used. Um, but yeah, the driver's seat is a little sunken, but but it's not bad. Yep. Okay, well, we'll see if we can go on a drive. Oh, and check this out. Maybe we'll look, maybe we'll look under the hood too while it's running. Yep. Look. Super quiet. Super quiet. Yeah, so as far as the condition of this thing, I mean, it's as good as it gets. For, uh, you know, for an 04 with 105,000 miles, it's beautiful. All right, so what do you say we go on a little test drive? 
Go ahead. You take it. You, you don't want to come with? No. Huh? Okay. All right. If anything, just keep mine. <laughs> it's unlocked. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. All right. Ugh. So. Ugh. All right. The shifter. All works well. Oh, oh. Hitting the select button, you got distance to empty, average speed, trip A, trip B, uh, metric, and all that good stuff. All right, so let's go distance to empty. All right, and then overdrive, yep, overdrive works. All right, we're about to take this boat and open water, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah, and I, I miss... I miss this type of steering wheel with the top and the bottom. All right, there we go. Yep, smooth and quiet. What else can you expect? Oh yeah, I mean, you drives, <laughs> drives like it should. I think. <laughs> All right. Probably just gonna turn here. I mean, you can, like, I don't hear any rattles. I don't hear anything. Just nice and smooth and quiet. Let's see. It's a nice Sunday. Sunday early, nope, it's not afternoon yet. It's a little before noon. All right, we gotta uh, let's see if I can just turn around right here. I don't know if what I just did is legal or not. Now there's something a little bit loose in the steering. I, I do want to be honest with you guys. I'm not sure what it is. I am not a mechanic, but I do feel a little bit like a little play, and I think I'm gonna pull it in here so I can yeah so the steering wheel is a little loose but I don't know is it because it's just it's an older car or is it because there's something actually wrong All right. <laughs> and of course I pulled into a, a urologist's office okay <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't have pulled in into any other all right, hopefully a bunch of urologists don't come out and, and don't try to probe me or whatever it is that urologists do. All right, so check this out. Bam. Yeah, look, I mean, as far as the driving goes, it drives great. Uh, not gonna lie. Uh, the, whatever is happening with the steering, uh, you guys need to come out and test drive it and, and see for yourself. Uh, I'm in no, you know, position to, to sell a car as far as uh, try to tell you something that's not true. I'm just uh, an honest-to-goodness reporter. But yeah, as far, as far as the car itself, I mean, come on. It's, it's a beauty. It is a beauty. All right, time to give it back because we have a black town car to get to. And that thing... Is gonna be awesome too. All right, let me drive. All right, so here's the bottom line. So I just parked it a little crooked and everything. So here's the bottom line. It is, it is for sale. Oh, I gotta pull it, pull it out a little bit. There you go. So that his phone number shows, because otherwise the phone number was blocked. So here is here it is. So the way that the, the the way that the current owner puts it, the body is in excellent shape, which which it is. 
Uh, interior is in uh, fair condition. So a few things on the interior that I've noticed. Yeah, and then he did confirm, yeah, a little loose steering wheel. The driver's uh, heated seat does not work, but I think that's probably why there is a heating pad uh, in the trunk. So the previous owner was probably looking to replace. You got, um, I think this needs just a battery replace. And then the backup sensors, I think they either need to be turned on or maybe there's something off, them, off with them. So if you guys are interested, here it is. Otherwise, hope you like it and we'll see you next time.